Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining us again today. Um, again, we'd like to thank the community for all of their support and helping us get the message out. It's, it's been very helpful, and as well as the media, uh, what you're doing to help us get the message out is, is only helping us find David today. I'd first like to start off answering some questions that some of you had earlier that we didn't previously have the information to. Uh, we were able to confirm that David was seen the day that he went missing, uh, earlier in the day on Saturday, and it was by someone other than a family member. He went missing approximately one hour prior to reporting this to the Aurora Police Department, and that was because the family was doing some of their own search efforts, trying to find them before, trying to find David before calling us. Uh, David does have three other juvenile siblings that are living in the home with him. And the family has been very cooperative, cooperative with us. We have done a thorough search of the inside of the home several times. We are speaking with all known sex offenders in the area related to this investigation. And some of you out there may have noticed um, the FBI has coordinated some road canvassing earlier today. And this is just another tool that we have to be able to reach out to the public to bring some awareness to help us find David. Uh, we had bloodhounds on the ground immediately, approximately one hour after we were notified that David was missing. And we would like to thank the Jefferson County Bloodhound for, for being here immediately and helping us out with that. We have a couple of uh, comments for the public. If you do find any evidence, <clears throat> we ask that you please do not handle that evidence and you call us on our tip line or 911 immediately. Please do not post these things to social media. Although we are monitoring it a lot right now, we do not monitor it 24 seven and we want these things to be collected immediately and safely. Also, it's very common for children who wander, who are missing, to not respond if you call their name. So simply checking your property or your home by, or by calling out their name may not be effective. So please go out on your property or your home and check all the spaces that you think a small child could possibly hide. You may have realized on the last press release, there is a $5,000 reward that was issued by the Crime Stoppers. And tonight we have added $5,000 more dollars, so for a total of $10,000 reward. <clears throat> and that's offered by the Aurora Police Reward Fund. If you have a tip, you can remain anonymous and you can report this to Crime Stoppers. You can reach them at 720-913-STOP or you can text DMCS at 274 Six three seven. Briefing location will change tomorrow. We don't have the location and time yet, but we will provide this information via our social media. So again, please continue to use us as a source of information. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all of these updates. We will not be at this location tomorrow. And again, we can't thank our local, state, and federal partners enough and all the assistance that they have provided. It has made everything a lot easier and a lot faster for us. And we had over 100 law enforcement officers here today alone. Does so anyone have any questions? All we know that it was someone other than a family member saw David um, on the day that he went missing. I don't know who it was. He, prior to him going missing earlier in the day, he was seen. Well, it's just, we had some questions earlier today when he was confirmed to have last been seen. Is there a time frame on that It was a little bit earlier. I, w I believe it was around 2. I'll have to confirm the time, but I believe it was 2. Can you talk about, was there a specific reason you brought up um, handling evidence? Is there something found earlier that someone maybe mishandled and didn't contact you? No, we have such a tremendous community who is out there on the ground looking for evidence and helping us find David. And they have come across multiple items. And, and social media is instant, and they're using that. And we appreciate that. Um, they're posting the photos and, and letting us know and asking us a lot of questions. Is this helpful? Is this something you're looking for? And that's great, um, but we don't want to have a delay in time. And we don't want to risk it being mishandled. So the best way to avoid that is just to call the tip line or call 911. It actually started out originally at about a half a mile, and it's increased as the investigation needed. So, and we are currently still at two and a half. If we need to go further, we will. What are the next steps from here? Like what happens tomorrow? What happens in days? And how concerned are you about the temperatures? 
we're obviously very concerned it's very cold and, and we're doing everything we can and using all the resources that we have to find David immediately. Um, the, the next steps are we're going to continue searching, we're going to continue following leads. So again, your tips are important. Please call our tip line. Even if you think it's maybe not important, it doesn't hurt to call so that we can follow up on these things. Can you tell us about Uh, yeah, we are going to continue doing some uh, searching in the area and following up on some leads and, and some neighborhood canvases that some people have probably already encountered. And, and that'll go as long as we need it to go tonight. Can you tell us anything about the conditions of David's home? I don't have any knowledge of the conditions on his home. We heard from the uncle that he was asking us to let people look in their backyards or in RVs for where they might be hiding. We saw some officers looking in backyards. Absolutely, and that's great advice. I mean, you'd be surprised where, where a six-year-old can hide, and, and many of us are parents and realize that. So open up the cabinets, check the RVs, check the abandoned uh, vehicles you may have or any boxes, um, anything that a six-year-old can uh, fit in, sitting down or even curled up in a ball, check those things. Because, again, calling their name out is just not enough most of the time, so you really need to um, help us out, and that's the easiest thing you can do is just check your property for us. Yeah, that's part of an ongoing investigation that we can't comment on at this time. Who was the rest of the family when he went missing? Uh, there, there were some family members in the home, but the rest of that is all part of the ongoing investigation. Does your department have any sort of record with that address, David's address, of any uh, calls to 911 for anything, domestic violence, child abuse, anything like that? We do have one documented call where David wandered from school, and, and that's all we have at this time. Could that be for, for the school, but not the house? Correct. I don't have that information right now. Earlier you had um, asked the public for video surveillance commercial um, or private surveillance. Did you get any response to that and has that led you to search other areas besides the neighborhood? Thank you for reminding me that. Yes, that we would like to again ask you if a lot of people have video cameras these days on their homes. So please, if you have uh, residential cameras or business cameras, please review those. And if you have anything on there that you believe may be helpful to our investigation, call the tip line. We would love to take a look at that and just see if it's helpful in any way. Um, I don't know how many calls we have received, uh, you know, now since we've talked about that last time uh, with videos. But you have Uh, we certainly have been reviewing video that we are aware of, and we've been out looking for video as well. Yeah, the, the citizen support has been amazing, and we are so appreciative of it. It, it does nothing but help. Uh, today we asked them to stop searching because we had bloodhounds here, and that could impact their searching ability. And um, what we will do from this point forward is that when we're ready for some more citizen um, organization like that, we will announce that on our Facebook and Twitter account. Okay, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the first part. What Just was the first? Yeah. You know, we've been in consultation with CBI from the very beginning, and what's important here is it's out now, and it does nothing but help and spread the message to find David. Well. So the blood hounds, has there been a sense, any sign of them, a sock, anything at all? You know, I don't have that information at this time. Really? Yes. So would you say he vanished in the air? I just don't have that information right now. Bodies of water, have you been searching under the water? Um, yeah, actually, that was a good question. We were asked that earlier. We did have a uh, water rescue, I believe it was the Arapahoe Water Rescue Team that was here, and they did a search of the water. And we've also been checking for cracks in the ice and things like that in the nearby water areas. The family submitted to polygraph testing? Um, the family has been cooperating with police. I don't know that we have, um, if they've done any of that at this time. No, we have no reason to believe that the community is in any danger at all, and if that changes, we will certainly update the public. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm unaware of that, but I would suggest reaching out to them. One last question. 
Has there been any sign of him at all since he was first reported missing or any valid lead or clue? We've been following up on multiple tips. A lot of people have been calling the tip line, and we're starting to get more and more phone calls. So, again, we're thankful for that. Please give us a call. Um, at this time, we're still following up on leads to verify them. How long do you continue to go like this without any leads? So you haven't really had any, any leads. So how many days will go forward if there are no leads? Does the search continue with this intensity? We will continue to search for David as long as it takes. That's a part of the investigation that we can't comment on at this time. Thank you for your time today, Crystal. Thank you for your time. Thank you.